Hello everyone, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nets video series on binary search interview questions and this is about how to create a mirror of a binary tree. So previously we have seen that if you have been given two different trees and if you are asked find out if they both are mirror of each other then how to do that. So that was different and this is different. This is about creating a mirror of a tree. So you will be given this as a root and this is uh, basically your tree and you have to create a mirror of it. So mirror meaning your actually root will look same and then here you will have three and here you will have two. Okay. Because if you will put mirror, this is how it is going to look like. Okay. Let's suppose you had this uh, maybe four here like this. Then how this is going to look like? This is going to look like this. Your four will come here and uh, maybe five here. So now five will come here. So you will be given this tree and you're supposed to create another tree like this. So if you closely observe the pattern, if you are going into the left direction on your original tree, then basically you are going to the right direction in your mirror tree. Okay. So the moment you will go from any node to left, whatever that node you will encounter, you will push into the right hand side of your parent and let's suppose if you are going from uh, 1 to 3 which is right then in that case you have to put this 3 into the left of your parent okay so it's exactly the reverse let's suppose uh, this is your function call you have this helper method and if you're going roots left then this tree whatever it is let's suppose make it a mirror so mirrors right will go and you will assign this left into this right position and similarly you have this helper call when you are going for right direction in your actual tree which is this one in that case you will send mirror of left so that you will push this guy into mirrors left so as i said if you are going to the right hand direction then in your mirror you will put that whatever you will encounter into the left of your node for this okay let's look at the code for this and we'll understand this better so this is how your helper function would look like let me show you how you will call this so you have this as a root and this tree is not yet constructed okay so this is there with root so you have pointer root with you and we will create a new pointer let's suppose mirror equal to null and we'll pass these two pointer like this we have this helper function we are going to pass root comma address of mirror okay why address so that you can do the modifications and construct this whole tree and if you have forgot about what is this uh, pointer address and all that i'll give you a small quick uh, intro here let's suppose we have this uh, integer p not p pointer p okay and is equal to null what is the meaning of this whole thing or uh, wait a minute not like this what i can do is this integer pointer p is equal to uh, new 10 so what is the meaning of this whole thing and if i will tell address of p then what so let's assume we have this block and we are asking this block what i mean is the moment you are asking new 10 this guy is getting constructed at the heap and you have this uh, this portion as heap and let's give some memory like a uh, 12 here and uh, you can store some 10 because this is what you asked for so this is constructed and this cross 12 is assigned here and this is your p and this let's suppose this is like maybe cross um, 11 so if you are telling p meaning you're saying that this cross 12 which is actually an address of your heap memory but if you are saying dereferencing p then you are saying that i am pointing at 10 now correct this is clear right and if you are saying p's address meaning you are pointing at this one this guy so here if you see we are saying that address of the mirror meaning i am pointing at this location i have initialized this whole thing this is this is initialized with null here for now because we we don't have any memory for this so i am actually sending this box so that someone can create a memory and assign that memory here if i am not sending the address of 
p meaning address of mirror in that case i won't have access to this location okay so if i am not sending this address if i am just sending mirror like root then in that case i will be just simply sending the null pointer here i mean null here which won't make any sense because you want to send the address so that someone can initialize your pointer i think it's clear now if you have still doubt then you please go ahead and watch my videos about pointers and all that i have given full explanation about the pointers now as you are sending root and address of a mirror see this is your one this is how you are getting it one and this is some address so that you can store and create new mirror of this tree so we'll just simply check if root is uh, null so here it is not we'll go ahead create new node with value roots value so currently we are getting one here right so we have sent one so we'll send one here and we'll receive one here he and we'll receive one here and see this tree node now we are constructing a new node and just sending that new node back to this mirror pointer it is very important look at this very carefully you have constructed a node this is traditional way of creating node i mean uh, asking the memory from heap using malloc type casted this into the actual node i am putting left and right as null pointers and node's value is assigned with 1 okay so actually this is how it is going to look like you have one initialized and null in left hand side and null in the right hand side and you will send this node back to this mirror and what is this mirror pointer here now let's again understand this actually this mirror is nothing but the address of some location if you will apply this asterisk mark which is like dereferencing meaning you are dereferencing that location so you had the address now you have applied dereferencing operator now you are actually accessing that location so that you can put this newly constructed node inside that so newly constructed node might be having some address like maybe 0 cross 11 that 0 cross 11 will be assigned here okay and this 0 cross 11 is just the address actually memory got constructed in the heap okay like this 0 cross 11 and you had left and right and node is equal to 1 okay so this is how something is happening inside this whole this create new node and with this assignment here so now you had this full tree now just now you constructed a node with 1 with left null pointer and right null pointer till this line okay till this line after that what we'll do so this is very important point now helper and roots left now you are going to roots left meaning you are going at this location the moment you are going to the left rotation uh, location i told you that you have to put that value to the right of your mirror right so see this is very important point guys look at this very carefully i told you that mirror is actually an address of your pointer so if you want to point to the actual location you have to apply this pointer after applying this pointer you will say right hand side of that which is actually this location now sending null won't make sense actually you want to send this address of this one okay so see that's why we have applied ampersand so we had initialize 0 cross 11 inside this right so that is the address of the first byte of your node so this will occupy 8 bytes this will occupy 8 bytes and this is going to occupy 8 bytes so whatever the address is you incremented by 16 bytes you will receive this starting byte of your memory and you want to send this one so basically let's suppose this is like 0 cross maybe just random number 16 i don't know <laughs> or let's make it 14 so now you are sending this 0 cross 14 here and similarly you will check 2 is not null pointer you will come here now you are saying that create a new node with two value and initialize that to the mirror now notice this what is mirror mirror is actually the right hand side right so see you have one and you have sent right hand side right so you had sent this location now 
we are sending newly created node which is 2 with null in the right hand side because it will get constructed at this whole this uh, line and left is also null pointer because we have initialized left and right with null pointer and that assignment is happening at the right hand side of your node okay so see 1 with left hand side 2 but this newly mirror created is like 1 with right hand side 2 so this is the magic but don't forget that you are sending the address of the location not just the location so that you can initialize the value at that location and this is this is the key actually if you are going to the left hand side then you have to send the address of the right hand side and initialize that in this particular line okay because if you are calling these two i mean with these two elements you will receive those two elements here and then again reach to this line and initialize this value to the opposite direction of your tree which is this mirror would be pointing to and yeah about this case see now you will try again going left with this because you are done so you will try to go to left but left is now a null pointer in your actual root so here this condition will get true now mirror will get initialized with null pointer and will just simply return so here this will remain as a null pointer will not change anything okay and similarly with recursion you will create a mirror tree of your given tree and these three lines are actually sufficient to do that so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care